Good evening, I'm Matthew Harris. And I'm Jen Payne. Here's tonight's top story. In an interview Wednesday with ABC, President Trump suggested he could be open to bringing back torture because he absolutely believes it works. Just ask Melania. All the thieves! Right? <laughs> According to the Nielsen rating, Donald Trump's ABC interview was seen by 7.5 million people. According to Trump, it had more viewers than the Super Bowl. <laughs> White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer has had a five-year Twitter feud with Dippin' Dots. Explain Spicer. Uh, Dippin' Dots call themselves the ice cream of the future, and that's a lie! And lying is my job! Period! <laughs> Electricians who rushed to complete President Trump's Washington, D.C. hotel are suing him for more than $2 million in their owed. It's all part of Trump's plan to put Americans back to work and then not pay them. <laughs> a defector from North Korea said in a press conference that Kim Jong-un's days are numbered, just like the rest of us. <laughs> The Washington Post has confirmed that Tiffany Trump is registered to vote in two different states. Yet still, she doesn't register as a daughter to her father. <laughs> Never hear about that. <laughs> the bakery that made Donald Trump's inauguration cake has admitted copying a design made for Barack Obama's ceremony four years ago. The bakery figured that copying an Obama cake was okay because the order was placed by Melania. <laughs> Saturday Night Live writer Katie Rich has been suspended for an offensive tweet about Barron Trump. And because she takes cheap shots at defenseless people on Twitter, she's now the front runner for the 2020 Republican presidential nomination. <laughs> and now, where hard news meets Hollywood, here with the entertainment news from a Minneapolis newsroom, Mary Richards! <laughs> Suicide Squad deserves special recognition for trying to conceal how of a terrible mess Suicide Squad really was. <laughs> DC sucks. <laughs> oh, disappointing comic book movies! <laughs> Next month, Alec Baldwin will host Saturday Night Live for a record-breaking 17th time. Another record to be broken that night? The number of angry tweets sent by Donald Trump. Oh, at the real Donald Trump. <laughs> the British Postal Service is making 10 stamps in honor of David Bowie, which explains why all of your Facebook friends are suddenly posting about how they're huge fans of British stamps. Oh, bandwagons. <laughs> In just over 24 hours, U2 sold 1.1 million tickets for its Joshua Tree anniversary tour. So now you know what 1.1 million dads will be receiving on Father's Day. <laughs> oh! Bono! <laughs> and finally, Johnny Depp got a Razzie nomination for Worst Supporting Actor in Alice Through the Looking Glass. Which is totally unfair, because Johnny Depp was the lead actor in Alice Through the Looking Glass. Oh, Mr. Depp! <laughs> it's my song! <laughs> <laughs> Willie Nelson has canceled two concerts due to illness. Comment at a Willie Nelson fan. Now I'm really sorry to hear about Willie Nelson. 
And also, I have no idea what kind of business he has, but I'm pretty sure I know what he uses it, uses to try to treat it. Antibiotics. Maybe pot. <laughs> You're always on my mind. You're always on my mind. Sales of the George Orwell novel 1984 are up 10,000% since Donald Trump's inauguration. <laughs> also up 10,000%? People lying about having read George Orwell's 1984. A survey of high-rise construction throughout the U.S. reveals that the city currently with the most cranes is Seattle, but only if you count everyone on Frasier. Uh. <laughs> oh, delayed reaction. <laughs> A dog named Yowie has predicted the outcome of every single NFL playoff game, but he's still having trouble predicting who's a good boy. <laughs> At a Philadelphia 76ers game Tuesday night, M. Night Shalom, <laughs> his daughter, Salika, <laughs> sang the national anthem. Commented Salika. In a surprise twist, I revealed at the end of the national anthem that the flag had been there the whole time. Mind blown! <laughs> Shyamalan. <laughs> a new study reveals that if you eat seafood, you're also eating thousands of tiny pieces of plastic ingested by sea animals. To avoid eating seafood, scientists recommend dining at Red Lobster. A Dog's Purpose opened at theaters this weekend. A sequel, A Cat's Purpose, will be coming out as soon as anyone figures out what the fuck that is. 